Hi there, internet humans. Let's talk about something, okay? All right, class, today we're going to talk about fighting with strangers on the internet, everyone's favorite American pastime. So after the election happened, I made a video in which I talked about politics and intersectional feminism and white privilege. And I learned something very important that day. Did you know that according to some people on the internet, talking about white privilege is racist? Also, some facts are racist, like the fact that America is not a white nation, racist. Or repeating exit polling data from the presidential election, also racist. Now, thanks to the internet, I get called racist for talking about white privilege at least once a day. I also learned some new facts, like feminists are stupid. Which brings me to a phenomenon that I have frequently observed and I'd like to talk about. If you would like to express any opinion on feminism online, as a woman, you are by default volunteering to teach a full course of Feminism 101 to a very disruptive class that has no desire to be there and yet refuses to leave. I like to call this the non-consensual substitute teacher syndrome. Excuse me, I have things to do. Mr. Pig, you are going to play the part of internet man with deep-seated subconscious sense of entitlement. Oh man, do I have to? Yes, because I said so. Why do I have to represent toxic male behavior? I get to be the girl. It usually looks a little something like this. Rape culture hurts women of all skin colors. This is why intersectional feminism is important. Rape culture isn't real! Oh, I see. Um, I don't think I want to have this conversation. Oh, you don't have anything to say. Cause I'm right. Prove to me that women get raped. I have things to do. I'm gonna go. No, come back! You have to fight with me! Here's a tip. Women don't owe you a debate on feminism. Women don't owe you anything. We are people with lives to live and shit to do. If you barge on in like a spoiled toddler and demand to be taken seriously in your assertion that feminists hate men, catcalling is a compliment, or any other really basic shit like that, you're demonstrating that you are not on the reading level. You're probably gonna get treated as such. So instead, try this. Sit back, listen, and then write this 100 times. Oh, and ladies, if you find yourself in one of these situations, try this. Oh, I actually don't feel like paying attention to you right now. Bye. Oh, you're so condescending. This is why no one likes feminists. Okay, you can stop now. Am I doing a good job? Yes, Mr. Pig. Too good. This has been another public service announcement from Grumpy Princess. Have fun out there. <laughs>